Today I'm going to break down everything in depth for PvP in the Warmind expansion and we're going to start right now. What's up guys, Reckless here and welcome to Guardian Watcher. If it's your first time here and you enjoy learning all things about Destiny, then hit the subscribe button and click on the bell, that way you guys don't miss out on any future videos. So apparently since Bungie released the Destiny Warmind reveal, there has been a little bit of confusion for PvP around forums, Facebook groups, etc. So I'm going to hopefully try to minimize this confusion as best as possible. If you already understand all of the information that was given about the Crucible at the reveal, great. But if not, then this video will help you out. And all sources will be in the description below. Since this video is about the Crucible, then I will only talk about PvP content. Okay, so as of May 8th, 2018, the Destiny 2 expansion to Warmind will be released. With this expansion starts Season 3 of Destiny 2. With me so far? In Season 3, we will be getting seasonal Crucible rankings that will be available to all Guardians, even if you don't have the Warmind expansion. I'll explain the seasonal part in just a few minutes. And we also will be getting private matches, from which we've been wanting for a very long time. There are two different Crucible rankings, Valor and Glory, as well as six ranking tiers. I'll go over the rankings first, starting with Valor. You earn Valor ranking by playing in the Quick Play, Mayhem, and Rumble playlists. In the Valor rank, you gain points by winning matches, but there is no way to lose points, and there are no penalties if you lose matches either. The Valor rank is more for the casual player, or the player who doesn't like a setback when they lose. Once you hit the cap in the Valor rank, then you will be able to reset your rank and unlock special rewards. Think of it like Prestige in Call of Duty. Now, the Glory rank is a lot different in a sense of points. In the Glory rank, you will gain points when you win and lose points when you lose or quit a match. However, there are win and loss string bonuses where the points will be multiplied when you win or lose consecutive games. And you will only earn Glory points by playing in the competitive playlists. As I mentioned earlier, there are six ranking tiers. In order from lowest to highest, they are Guardian, Brave, Heroic, Fabled, Mythic, and Legend. These rankings are important in the Glory ranks because if you are Fabled rank or below, then logging in and competing will get you bonus Glory points each week. If you are Mythic or Legend rank, then you will need to complete a minimum of three matches every week to prevent your rank from going down. This also prevents players from reaching the top rank and then just sitting there. So you are going to have to defend your title. Also, besides the rewards that you get at the end of each match, each rank will give out rewards such as armor ornaments, emblems, masterwork cores, engrams, and much more. Now, there are positives for both ranks just by winning, which is the loot that you get and an increase in rank, but there is an even worse negative for those who solo matchmake in the glory ranking. If you don't know, competitive PvP is always best when you are in a group, and if you solo matchmake, then you are pretty much at the mercy of the rest of the group. That is, unless you are like a PvP god and can win an entire match all by yourself. But even then, your luck would only go so far. Now let's get into the seasonal aspect of Crucible rankings. Every season will have its own dedicated weapon that's only obtainable through the glory rank. You can obtain this weapon by reaching the Fable tier. For Season 3, the weapon is called Redrick's Claymore, and this weapon is a legendary pulse rifle with Outlaw as well as a new perk to Destiny 2 called Desperado. Desperado reads, Reloading while Outlaw is active increases your rate of fire. Now, the best thing about this is when your rate of fire is increased, there is no decrease to your impact like in the previous Destiny. And as I mentioned not too long ago, each season will have a new dedicated weapon. Now this is pure speculation, but I want to say that with each new season that comes out, our rank in both Valor and Glory will be zeroed out in order to make replayability possible. Next, let's talk about the Crucible reward system, which will be getting a change. When Season 3 starts, we will have to go to Lord Shax and he will give us a package with both the Valor and Glory emblems. He will show us all of the Crucible gear, and we would have to read a description for us to know how to actually obtain them. The Valor Emblem tracks the number of Valor ranks completed in each season, and the Glory Emblem tracks the Glory rank points in each season, but in real time. 
In private matches, there will no longer be a time of day option in the private match options. We will be getting two new maps to Crucible, and they are Meltdown and Solitude. Meltdown will be available to everyone, but Solitude will only be available to everyone who has the Warmind expansion. And that's pretty much everything that we know so far in PvP for Expansion 2. Now, we will be getting a lot of exotic reworks, and it will affect PvP as well as PvE, but that video will be saved for another day. So let me know in the comments if this video helped you guys out and gave you a better understanding of what is to come in PvP for the Warmind expansion. And if you enjoyed this video, then feel free to watch these videos as well. You never know, you just might like them. And if you do, leave a like, share them, and then come back for more, because you know you want to. Thank you guys for watching, and remember, less guns doesn't mean less crime. And I will see you guys next time.